Hey everyone, welcome to effect for you channel. Today we are creating effect like this. So let's start it. First create a new comp, I am using 1920 by 1080, 25 frame per second. Now, drag background image into timeline, scale down, if image too big. Now go to effect and preset panel, and apply blur effect on background image. I am using 30% of blur amount. You use it according to your image. Now drag first image into timeline, and scale it according to composition. Now, select first image layer, then create rectangle mask on our image. Now, go to around 1 second forward, and add a keyframe. Then go to first frame on timeline, and down the mask, you can use arrow key on keyboard, to move the mask. Select both keyframe, right click, go to keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Now, select pen tool for design some element, we are using triangle element, you are free to use any elements. I am using blue color and stroke 5 pixel. Now, animate this triangle's position, select shape layer and hit P for position. Go to 1 second forward and add a keyframe, then go to few frame back, and move triangle shape, and add keyframe. It's look good to me, select both keyframe, and easy ease them. Now select rectangle tool and create a rectangle, fill color none, and stroke color black. Then select text tool, and write any text you want, I am write my channel name, you are free to choose any name. Select shape and text layer, and move below the R first image layer. Select text layer pick whip, and parent with the shape layer. Now we can move both layer together, so that it's easy to animate both layer together. Go to around 1 second forward and add keyframe on position. Move the key on first frame of timeline. Move the shape layer up, and add keyframe. Select both keyframe, and easy ease them. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now, we add some text on our composition, so here I am use a random text, you are free to choose any text. Audio 
select text layer, and create a rectangle mask over the text. Go to around 2 second and add keyframe. Then go few frame back, and move mask down. Select both keyframe, and easy ease them. Perfect. Now, add same animation, with another text. I am using random text, but you are free to choose any text. I am showing you, just example. Perfect, our first slide animation done. Now, select our first image, and pre-comp them, and leave all attributes in comp1, change this comp name to image. Double click to open image comp, and select image layer, press S for scale, go to first frame of comp, and add keyframe, then go to last frame and scale it a little bit. Perfect. Now add some drop shadow on image comp. Go to effect and preset, and apply drop shadow on image comp. I am using distance 30%. softness 20% and opacity 20% you are free to choose any amount now copy this effect and apply it triangle shape a layer and adjust the sum amount of distance softness and opacity Now it's look good to me, select all layer. Right click, and pre-comp them. Now, our first slide complete, go to project window, select slide 1 comp, and image comp, and duplicate them. Drag, slide 2 comp into timeline, and double click to open them. Select image 2 composition on project window, press and hold alt key, and drag over image comp. Now our image comp replace with image 2 composition. Now double click on image 2 composition, and select second image on project window, hold alt, and drag the second image on first image, so that, it's replace with second image. We don't need these two elements on second slide, so we hide these two layer. Also change some animation on image 2 composition. So delete these keyframe. And move mask left and add keyframe. Go to first frame on timeline and add keyframe. Select both keyframe, and easy ease them. Also change this triangle animation. Same left to right. 
like image 2 composition. Now, our both slide animation complete. Now add some transition. Select both comp and press P, and add keyframe on first comp. Then go to few frame forward, and move the slide one comp out of the screen, Then add a keyframe on slide 2 comp, and go to first frame of slide 2 comp, and move slide 2 comp out of the screen. Select both keyframe, and easy ease them. Here you can see some line edge between both slide. Go to second slide, double click to open it, go to background layer, right click, go to transform, then flip horizontal. Now you can see line has gone. Now, hit zero for an preview. Thanks for watching, hope you like the video, if you like the video, hit like button and subscribe our channel, for more tutorials, I'll see you the next video.